favourite author is Louis Ferdinand Salina, without any shadow of a doubt. I just adore Terry Pratchett. He's hilarious, but he's not safe for reading on the train. No. <laughs> My favourite Catalan author is Marcel Rodureda. So many, so many, so many. Jonathan Coe. Cervantes, you know? You got it? Oh, Dave Eggers. Love Dave Eggers. Mr. Martin, what's your favourite book, mate? Well, Ricky, well, you should ask. <laughs> My favourite book is this one. It's called uh, Pepper the Chicken. Cyrano de Bergerac. 1984. The Weird Sisters, Eleanor Brown. Wild Nights by David Jader. The Razor's Edge. Really? Yeah. Don't ask me why, but I can remember actually driving and reading at the same time. My God. The, yeah, well, <laughs> you could do that in West Australia yes. in those yes. days. I suppose my favourite place to read is in bed because it's quiet. Yeah, I like to read in the, in the hammock. It's a nice place. You never read in the hammock. You're just sleeping. I got this chair from the son of Umberto Eco, so I just for me it's like a personal gratification <laughs> to, to sit in that chair and read a book. I read in the hammock. You don't see me there. You, don't, you haven't okay. seen me there. My favourite passage is the Chapter one, the first line. He was just supposed to pick some Coke and some uh, chocolate bars for his girlfriend, and he comes out and he can't find her. Without her, everything is nothing. And finally, yes, the rats come in the face, and, <laughs> and you're reading that like, no, no, it's not happening. And when the father uh, is dying, and he's explained the boy that uh, he should continue, uh, everything is possible. My father always read for me, and it always had to be the same book. But then, but he swapped sentences, and then it was, you know, like on me being like, no, that's wrong. You have to repeat it. I remember my mom coming into my room and telling me, you know, go to sleep now, and I'd say, yeah, 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 and I'd do the typical thing, you know, with the flashlight under the covers, you know, reading the book. I really would love to take the hitchhiker up and make a journey to Mars. I think I'd rather travel to the past. I, I really would like to go to Japan because of Haruki Murakami. And I went to Australia and I go to this uh, place called Hanging Rock and I have a, had a picnic in this place and I was like in the book. It was fantastic to see the places where Lawrence of Arabia was. And one beautiful thing happened to me during this time. My first student was my wife, and I married her two years after. I absolutely adore books. The feel, the smell, the whole uh, tactile sensation of having a book in your hands is just something so special I don't think I could ever fully give it up. We don't read because of the format. We read because of the content. With an electronic book, actually you can have the whole library in one little space and that's a lot more space for the flowers in your bedroom. I'd like to have every book read to me by Alan Bardell. Oh, that sounds <laughs> like, yes. Any just, nice, just sexually just, just like, yes. Oh, a wonderful voice wonderful. he had, yes. yes. And just, just sit back and have everything read to me by a good actor.